Well, guys and girls, we killed the griffin. Nothing left for us to do in this game. I guess we'll just hang up the saddle and rest away in this beautiful sunrise down in the green grass below. We're here. Episode 9. Griffin is dead. I got his behind. And we've got to go collect our reward from the Elf Guardians. Uh, that captain, our fair captain. I'm going to ride a different horse today because we're just mixing things up. Can I ride you? No. What if I board you from the left side? No. Roach! There you are. And you're carrying the head of the griffin! <gasps> okay, that's really freaking weird. But we have to go get our uh, reward. And I guess the reason I can't ride the white horse probably is because Roach is carrying this guy's beak. Holy guacamole. All right, well, last time we had an epic ba boss battle. Um, and you'll see there a Thunderbolt potion has... Ooh, place of power. And there's a big old level 7 wraith. Okay. Probably should get out of here. Go! Guarding that freaking place. Power out! No! No! Ow! You're gonna kill Roach! She's literally gonna murder Roach. I didn't mean to, like, venture here. I'm covered in blood. This episode is supposed to start off all peaceful and great. And instead, there's, like, an evil wraith. Go! Geralt! Phase through that wall. Roach, let's go! Alright. Holy mackerel. That wraith patrols the place of power. It's another free point that I'm not gonna be getting anytime soon. As we saw, even a level 3 battle challenged us, challenged us tremendously. Geralt may have forgot how to avoid evil creatures, but I have not forgotten how to speak. There's the bent windmill. Why is it bent? Take it easy. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we have to go back to the captain in the garrison and be like, Yo, I got your griffin. Tell me where our good friend uh, Yennefer went or something. I think they're trying to like direct us to the place of power, but do you think I could creep in there? Like, if I go stealth? More mushrooms. It's like all of a sudden we're in like Harry Potter's forest. Or like Tinkerbell's magical dream shack. I just want the PowerPoint. Not gonna wake you up. Okay, not gonna happen. All right. So the, that's interesting that some of these PowerPoints go, Geralt. Oh, God, momentum. Um, some of the PowerPoints are, in fact, guarded by creatures. That's pretty interesting and cool. So we're not going to get that anytime soon, but hopefully we'll get something great uh, from the Nilf Guardians, including enough XP to level up. This was our first major quest line, I and mean, so we should be able to cash in quite a bit, 200 meters, till we do just that. Crossing a little bit of light water, passing the Nilf Guardians. Hey, hey, look at my head. Not the one on my head, but the one in my hand. You get what I'm saying? All right. Along the coast, we shall ride. Let's go, horsey. Oh, there's a lot of wolves there, but these are the wolves, uh, yeah. If it's red, mark the skull, it means the enemy is much stronger. Yeah, so we're gonna leave, let those guys be. The horse is afraid, but we'll get you out of there, Roach. No time for fear. The Cola King is near. Somewhere. He lurks in the skies above. Watching over us always, right? Alright, can I ride the horse up here, or like... Let's go! Ro be gone! I, I killed your freaking master's favorite... Angry beast. All right, whatever. We're gonna climb this, and I guess I'll leave my uh, horse in the head down there, and they'll just know about it. Thank you. What the hell is this? Roy, you take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I I, I didn't know. So a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. No. Make it so. Wow. No, no, by the gods, no! I don't like this guy as much anymore. Not as cool. What? I killed. Yeah, no more Captain Nice Guy. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! A moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. I've come because I killed the griffin, you big fat jerk, Fulfilled even though I feel my like... end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? You don't deserve it. To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time. Under my nose. 
might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Uh-huh. Dialogue time constraint options. Some dialogues demand you make a quick decision. This is nifty. Alright, so, um, take the coin, turn down the coin, take the coin, turn down the coin. No. Ha <laughs> ha! You evil jerk. I'm leaving him because, actually, I probably should have taken his coin, but they're whipping the- Where, where are you whipping the- No! Where- I hear the whip. Where are they whipping him? Stop whipping my friend! Jerk. Isn't that him? Will someone explain to me why you are here? Alright, well, we've... I'm just not having any fun with this guy. So either later on in the game, it's going to be a problem that we didn't accept his offer, or he's going to be like, wow, this guy's so nice. Or we're going to come slaughter him later. Are you here to spy? I want to know if you have bombs. Show me what you're I feel like this guy had bombs when we checked before. I don't know, I probably should have taken his coin for killing the griffin. Maybe that was a bad choice. But I feel like everyone would take the coin, so I just kind of want to do something crazy. Even if it was a little dumb. Uh, different cutlasses, a poniard, a long sword, power, power, blah, 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 blah. I thought this guy had bombs, but I guess not. Do you know how to make bombs? Apparently not. All right. Peace out. So long. All right, we've got an ability point. To spend here. Ugh, should I have taken that coin? I'm so sorry. Maybe I should have, but maybe it'll come back to be good for us. Why would they give you the option to turn it down? I just was kind of disgusted at his behavior, and he, like, hid stuff from us the whole time. Um, alright, so I've got a free point. Um, what's the Igni? Damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. Now, this is green, so anything green will grow. Heightened Tolerance, Poison Blades, Steady Aim. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases toxicity. I don't really want to do that. Some of these, though, are pretty darn cool. Although it doesn't really matter, because I, I'd probably be better off just extending this one, you know what I mean? Right, like buying another level in this to increase my points, since I don't... I currently can't equip any more skills, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of even... I'm just gonna improve that, alright. You guys let me know what you think about my character progression uh, in the comments below. Prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir, alright. Adios, keep your coin, you rotten man! Even though we ended up getting, like, nothing for the griffin. Sort of lame, but... I don't know, I just wanted to see what would happen if I turned it down. I thought maybe he'd give us something else, or, I don't know, maybe later it'll come back to... Help us. Look at that sexy surfing down the sides of the, uh, <laughs> the staircase. Hello, Roach! Oh my god, Roach was hiding in the water the whole time! I knew it! I knew I could count on you. Roach. You are a mer horse. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Alright. So, prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. I'm at level 3, but the wargs and the wolves uh, are still too strong for me. Is there a signpost close by? I think there actually was a signpost back at the, uh, <laughs> the garrison. Oh, well, we don't need your filthy signpost, just like we don't need your filthy coin. Whoa! Oh, God. Roche wants to go back to the waters where he came. And now I'm in a weird, like, ravine. Can he jump? I don't know. Come oh, on now. I can use my sword on? Interesting. Is that a mer creature? It is! That's a murder creature. What level? It's a level 4 drowner. Okay. There's gotta be a way to, like, jump Move it. or something. Maybe not. Is Roach just, like, that inept at running? Uh, apparently, Roach is a reference to a Witcher 2 character that. Uh, that's why I was, like, at the beginning, like, why did they name him after a really annoying bug? And or ah! something else. Anyhow, 
Vesemir, I don't know. Maybe we can give the head to Vesemir and he can turn it into a bouquet or something. Look at those sunflowers. That's pretty sweet. Imagine if, like, the guy in this, uh, in, in the, the music in the background is just constantly playing the violin. Like, instead of pre-recording a looping track, he just played the violin for, like, 60 hours. That would be quite epic, I think. They're, like, playing the game. He's like, hurry up. I've got to go to the bathroom. Can I, can I ride the cow? Cow! Can I ride you, cow? Mount the cow. Well, I took a fruit off the cow. That's weird. Maybe it was off a plant, but it sort of seemed like it was right off the cow's butt. Thanks for the fruit, cow lord. All right. We're almost halfway to level four, too. We're, like, more like a third of the way. Vesemir, let's roll out of this joint. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Wow. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister tending to the birth. No. And you don't oh. fear the god's wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Ah. Ooh. Oh. Holy crap! Leave me be! Uh-oh. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? Oh. They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh crap, a fight in the inn. This is interesting. This place has turned into a freaking battle royale house. There we go. We got the counter like we wanted. Bandit, be gone. Your friends. Okay. How do you like that? Light your freaking friends on fire. There we go. Whoa! Delayed audio decapitation. That was freaking gross. <laughs> it's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Well, we tried not to get involved. They're gonna break that lady's face on the freaking picnic table. No, uh oh. We didn't start it. <gasps> Look who it is. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. 
Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. What's the rush? Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Interesting. I wonder what it could be. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. And we found her. Vesemir heads back to the home base, and we head to Vizima. 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 Vizuma. Montezuma. Vezimuza. Vizima. Okay. I got it. I like that guy's weird little, like, leaf branches he's got on his hat. That guy, too! Freaking mini peacocks crawling out of their caps. Goodbye, opening area. Good riddance, tiny village. We ride to greater waters. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... Uh-oh. Uh Freaking frost monkeys are coming after us. What the heck is that? Ah! Good move, Yennefer. That sorcerer's hand came in hand. And the wild hunt has been blocked for now. Like they probably could have just jumped over. Yennefer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Dun dun dun. What the heck is going on? This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Good. Nice to know. We just freaking knew that. <laughs> but thanks for telling us. Of course, it's bath time again. 
Every chapter starts with creepy bath time, I guess. He's enjoying it, at least. Gross. Ew. Hmm. It must suffice. How would you like to be that guy, the towel master? Who cares if I'm clean? The gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Looks like we took a bath Captain, in olive oil. We shaved the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Oh my god. <laughs> Prepping me for the king. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Too bad we don't get like a shaving minigame. <laughs> How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wow. Little bit of a threat there. Should we tell him about the wild hunt or tell him about your men died in battle? Eh, I want more info on the wild hunts. So let's go this route. Wild hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. <laughs> Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They wow. will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay. Let's select an outfit, get dressed and talk to the Chamberlain. This guy's pacing in circles, trying to just predict what we wear. Do we want to wear this one? It's got a freaking stripe down the center. Do we want to wear this one? It looks like it's for like a milk woman. Do we want to wear this one? It's kind of the same as that one over there, except the exact same, but... Oh, it has three stripes. I kind of actually like the one stripe thing, so we'll pick back up from this room here. Deciding what to wear, we meet Yennefer, we're at the palace of Nilfgaard, ready to take an audience with the Emperor. We're shaven, and clean, and ready to go. Until that time, the guys and girls, thanks so much for watching, we have a fantastic day, drink so much, until next time, we will see you all later.